Okay, this is uh, um, this is a video about the little uh, um, phase kits you can buy for around 20 bucks uh, and build. And I built one, put it in here. My noise level problem here at Benita, or in, in Chandler is, um, okay, see, um, what, S7, sometimes it's S9, you know, it depends. Now, I wanna show you something. I'm gonna tune to a station. Okay, there we go. Pretty good, all right? I'm gonna turn the phasing thing on here. And I want you to watch that uh, um, uh, that waterfall. The signals didn't change. The noise did. Look at the meter. Um, it, it's off off the stations. Down to about two s nothing. Ah, there's noise there. So it's s one s two from. S7, okay, huge difference for something as simple as this. Now to, to adjust it, you adjust this one for gain and these two for the notch. And it's that simple, you just notch them back and forth. I haven't even read the instructions yet, it might even be better, but I can't see how it could be better than that. Now in, in the back here, there's three antennas. There's a pass-through for my regular HF antenna. In my case, is a CCD antenna um, dog-legged on the roof. The other one is a vertical uh, VHF antenna. You notice I don't have it screwed in all the way. I want to pick up noise with it, and it does that. Uh, VHF antennas are generally shorted um, on any frequency other than VHF. So, um, so just using the center is all I need. Now that picks up the noise, but it doesn't pick up the stations. Um, and that's the key. If you can pick up the noise from this one, you can phase it out with the noise that's coming in on this one. And it phases them so the noise doesn't make it to the transceiver. And the, uh, um, well, and there's your results. You know, the, the huge difference between the two. Now, I'll leave a, uh, I'll leave a, a link. On eBay, you can buy these things for next to nothing. And you can put them together. Uh, be, be, between the box and all the other stuff, it probably cost me 50 or 60 bucks. Um, but for less than $20, you can buy this, this uh, filter that should actually come with all of these radios built into the software. Damn, you just need an, an, an extra antenna connection in the back um, and even a little whip antenna. And you got you got a huge difference. And that's before it gets to the radio. So it doesn't have to actually do any of the work uh, in this particular case. So anyhow, I highly <laughs> suggest anyone with, with local uh, noise levels like I have, um, I mean, look at that S meter there. Okay, that's off and that's on. And you can see the stations, the stations are still there, just as strong as they were. Turn it on and off. See, it's not phasing him out or her. Let's find a weak one. Wow. Okay. I'm pretty impressed. I built this a couple of weeks ago and I haven't had a chance to, to hook it up to the to the antenna um, down here that has all the noise. Um, so I'm impressed and I'm psyched. By the way, there's a, uh, um, there's a, uh, a relay in it, a couple relays actually, and I hook it up to the amplifier uh, connection in the back. And so when I transmit, it goes straight through. So I don't have to worry about it. And then on receive, it goes back to the, the phasing, uh, phasing unit. So, ah. I am I am stoked, guys and gals. If uh, if there's any accessory that you want to get for the uh, for your station, I would strongly suggest one of these. So anyway, it, it worked exactly like I, I wanted. I mean, S1 noise level, yeah, I can handle that here. Um, have a good one and have fun.